last week I got to try out Evil Within 2. So, was it terrifying and horrific? Well, they did make me use a controller. Yes indeed, I did get to try out The Evil Within 2, and as I've mentioned, unfortunately the keyboard and mouse was disabled. I had to use a controller, which was a little clumsy in my hands. As many of you know, I am not particularly adept at controlling games via that particular peripheral. However, I did soldier on and try to get a feeling for what the game was like. However, if you look at the footage and it looks like a chimpanzee wearing boxing gloves is playing, that's because he might as well have. I should also mention that I've not played the first game yet. I've got it installed on my system, I do intend to play it, but I've not got round to it. And I'm the sort of person who tries to avoid any spoilers before he plays a game. I know almost nothing about the first game, which of course means I'm probably the worst person on the planet to make any judgement about the second game. But I got to play it, so here are my basic first impressions. It is visually very nice to look at. It was dark, it was creepy, and it was extremely atmospheric. The only complaint I had was they forced us to have motion blur on. We couldn't change any of the options, actually, and I hate motion blur. But it is an option I did check. You can turn it off in the final game, and I will be doing that. But other than that, this game looked great. The term cinematic comes to mind, because it really did feel like I was playing in a horror movie. And there are quite a lot of cutscenes as well, so it is a very cinematic experience. But honestly, I couldn't tell you much about the story because I couldn't follow much of it. I have a feeling you need to have played the first game to understand even 1% of what is going on, but perhaps that's for the best because it means I can play the first game without really understanding any of the spoilers. The gameplay felt very solid, it was pretty easy to figure out, and the combat did feel a little difficult for me because I was using a controller, but I have a feeling it's supposed to be difficult anyway, and you're supposed to sneak around. You can, you can do a lot more damage if you sneak up behind people and do stealth kills. Beyond that, it's kind of difficult to give you any more information that you couldn't probably guess from the front page on Steam or if you've played the game before. You know, it's a horror survival game. I felt like it had slightly more survival than horror, at least at the early stages. And of course, it's difficult for me to gauge how scary it is because it's a very different experience to be playing a game like that in a room surrounded by other people wandering around all the time. If you're playing in a room by yourself in the dark, it's going to be a lot more of an intense experience. So I'm going to have to wait until I finish playing both games to be able to tell you whether or not it really is a terrifying horror experience. I suspect, though, it probably is. It seemed to be pretty well done, even though it's third person. And I say even though it's third person because I find third person games to be a little less terrifying than first person games. There's something a little detached about it. That doesn't mean it isn't going to be scary. Overall, this game made a good impression on me, even though I didn't really know what was going on. I've definitely decided to move Evil Within 1 up on the priority list. That is a game I definitely need to play now so that I can play Evil Within 2. I realise that if you have played the first game, the information I've given you here is borderline useless and I commend you for making it this far in. In fact, you are probably better qualified to tell me how this game looks just from the footage you're viewing, although you're probably going to be going, oh my god, how could you suck at this game so badly? I do apologise for that. I will try and rectify that by playing the first. Thank you for listening and I hope if this wasn't useful, it was at least, um, well I was going to say entertaining, but it probably wasn't. 
I'm just going to apologize for making you sit through this. Hopefully, the next game I show you, I will be able to give you a better insight as to whether or not it's going to be a good game, because it is a game I have some experience with. I, uh, I hope you can join me for that, and I look forward to seeing you there.